Welcome to Sonia Podcast. I know everyone, it's been a while since I've been on my podcast or since I even made any episodes. Um, I just needed a break. And besides, my birthday had came up, so I took a big break. Oh, thank everyone for the support. My um, relationship podcast, I love that y'all support it so much. And um, it's number 47 on Apple Podcasts. I haven't checked the other status for Spotify and iHeart or them, but Apple decided to send me um, an email saying it became number 47 on their charts. So thank you again. I hope to get it to like one or three on their charts I would love for it to be one or I would love for it to be three but I appreciate the 47 so we're just going to keep going so um a lot of people were saying well Sonia where are you 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 haven't and they have been sending me like I tell you they've been sending me things because they like well you know, maybe um, I don't have nothing to talk about. But I have a lot to talk about. I just haven't gotten to talk about it. And one thing is 10 things partners should never say to each other in front of the kids. This is my relationship podcast. You should never say, why can't you do a better job? And that means if they change in a diaper... Or if they playing with too rough with the kids, um, you should never criticize your partner in front of your children. An international study found that children of all ages from infants to teenagers can show signs of disrupted early brain development, sleeping problems, anxiety, other serious problems as a result of living with severe or chronic interparental conflicts. Remember the last time when you never say that in front of your child. Don't ever bring up the past. We all make mistakes. We all have disagreements. We all feel uncomfortable. We all, you know, we're not perfect. But we need to, you know, not bring up the past in front of the children because we don't want the children to have those same behaviors. You know, we want to encourage the children to do better. Never call your partner an idiot in front of your kids. It's very, very disrespectful. And it's a bad example that you're set for your kids calling your partner an idiot. It's just not acceptable. Never say, you're driving me crazy. That means when we say that, we are yelling it or we are shouting it. You know, and that can be scary and intimidating and can create a stressful and unpleasant home environment. So you never want to say that in front of the children. And you don't want to use harsh verbal discipline in front of your children. Another one you don't want to say is, why are you such a sensitive crybaby? That means you're belittling your partner, feelings, or concerns. So that makes you know that makes them feel unimportant. And children feel similarly dismissed and belittled, and it causes negative mental health. So you don't want to say that in front of your children. Never want to say to your partner you're acting just like an overbearing mother or father. That's criticizing or making negative comments. And that can cause tension and resentment and can create a hostile environment for kids. Another thing you never want to do is yell, we're getting a divorce. And the reason why you don't want to do that is because some children cannot handle that. They cannot handle that their parents are actually splitting up. They cannot handle that they're going to be living in two separate homes. They cannot handle that, you know, mommy's one home, daddy's another home. They always, they don't get along no more. They don't love each other no more. So children can't handle that. So you don't ever want to say that in front of your child. Never, you will never want to say, we can't afford anything with how much money you spend. Because... With children that call financial 
anxiety. And here's why. Children want to feel like everything is stable and everything is safe for them. So if they see parents are arguing about money and mommy is and daddy is over here like, oh, you're spending too much money on this or we can't afford to get this, that make kids feel like, you know, they they can't afford things or they don't they don't have things. So that gives them a sense of anxiety and stress. You know, like, oh, if I ask mommy for this toy or if I ask daddy for this toy because daddy and mommy said we don't have no money, I can't get it. So you want to avoid saying that. Another one you want to avoid saying is, if you don't do it, it's over. That's an ultimatum. It's a demand. That can cause conflicts in any relationship. But in front of children, it can create an unstable and unpredictable environment for them. So, what we should do as parents, take a step back, think about what we're going to say, think about how we're going to react, because it's going to benefit the children. A voice wearing in front of your children, and the reason why. Children pick that up fast. When you curse in front of your children, it pick they pick that up so fast that when you hear little kids cursing and some people be like, oh, that's so cute. It's not. It's not cute at all. Because a child that's small should not be cursing. It, it does not look cute. Us as adults, we should not curse. And we do. We should not use profanity, but we do. So we will want to do better in front of our children. We will want to speak better in front of them. Let them know that profanity does not always have to be used. You can use your words and your words can still have effect without cursing. So you don't want to curse in front of your children. You know, even though we get mad because we all get mad. We all curse, but we just need to make sure that there's a different way to teach our children how to handle our emotions, how to handle how we feel. So, yeah, we don't we don't want to do that. Another thing we should never do in front of our children is yelled yelling and shouting. I said this before. I said this earlier. Because having you notice when you yell and you shout and then you see your kids yelling and shouting that you tell your children, stop yelling, stop shouting. But then you have to stand back and look like, where did they get this yelling from? Where did they get it from us? Because we're yelling and shouting. So we're teaching them how to yell and shout. But we're the first to say, don't be yelling. Don't be shouting. Use your inner voice. And as parents, we have to practice what we preach. Like I said, we're not. We're all in a learning process as parents. You know, I don't think there's like a good parent. I think we're all learning. You know, because with children, you can look at a parent and say that parent is wonderful, that parent is good. But a child will look at that parent and says, oh, they should have let me do this or they shouldn't have let me do that. And they don't see the wonderful and good in that parent. So we're just basically really all learning. And I feel like it's a process it's a process for all of us when we have children. Some of us learn with the children. Some of us old enough to teach the children. But it's still a process. And i like to thank you for listening to Sony Podcast. Please give it a five-star review on Speaker, Spotify, iHeart, wherever the Sony Podcast that place here. You will comment here at sv seven six six seven five two at gmail.com. Go to my website, http://wordpress.com. Um, follow my son Sounds on Instagram. He have an Apple on Apple and Spotify. Follow King's Fleck. He has 
uh, album out on SoundCloud. Follow the Females Reforms. They have a venture store in New York. And have a blessed and wonderful... What's today? Chico de Mayo. For my Mexican hombres. You know, I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful time. And celebrate and enjoy... And that's it. Have a blessed night.